Welcome everybody to the penalty box segment for Thursday, October 24th. And I have four NHL bets for you guys in five minutes. Let's get straight to it. Minnesota undefeated in regulation of four zero and two on the season going into Tampa Bay four and two record here. And, uh, I really like the over in this game, guys. I'm super surprised that this line is only six. And I understand Minnesota has been playing some amazing defense. Uh, they've allowed three goals in their last three games. That's one goal a game. And before that, they held Winnipeg to two goals. So this is a lights-out defensive hockey team right now, but they are scoring goals. They just put up five against Florida, three against Columbus, and four against the St. Louis Blues. And one thing we know about Tampa Bay, they're not going to be held off the scoring sheet. It doesn't matter how good Minnesota is defensively. This Tampa Bay team just put up eight, eight, yes, eight on the New Jersey Devils, two on Toronto, and four goals, four goals, four goals, and four goals in the four games before that. So here we have a team that is averaging four or more goals five of their last six games, and they're playing terrible defensively. They've allowed five goals in their last three games in. How is this a six? Absolutely baffling. My favorite play in this video, Minnesota and Tampa Bay, over the total of six. Three more to go before we get into that. Uh, we left you last with three and one on this video, and we won both our plays for my NHL clients as well. I'm up for this NHL season, and I'm really seeing it well. I got two NHL bets going tonight, uh, one 3% and one 2%. You get them both over at wagertalk.com. Please take advantage of that. And I also have a 5% play up on Sunday in the NFL. I have a big card in the NFL this Sunday, at least five plays. And I have a promo code that I'm only giving out on videos. I uh, will not be putting them out on social media. Kick 10, kick 10. That is $10 off of my Sunday 5% package, the whole package, $10 off. Let's go. Utah hosting Colorado, and shout out to Utah. Nice start to the season, 4-2-1. and one. Colorado had a terrible start to the season, lost their first four games, but have won their last three. And I like Colorado in regulation here, guys. The bottom line is they're finally starting to play uh, better, but not great yet. They only put 28 shots on Seattle and allowed Seattle 27. The game before that, 22 shots on the San Jose Sharks allowed 26. We have yet to see a good Colorado Avalanche team, and this is a tough spot for Utah. Um, they're just not a team that is going to win four out of every six games. I think Utah loses tonight. I think Colorado wins this game in regulation. 4-2 score, so I lean on the under as well, but I prefer Colorado in reg. Now we turn our attention to the undefeated 6-0 Winnipeg Jets heading into Seattle to play the 4-3 Seattle Kraken. And I like Seattle here, guys. This is a tough spot for the New York Jets. They cannot keep winning games. It's tough to win six in a row, let alone seven in a row. And we finally saw them come down to earth a little bit against the St. Louis Blues. They were down by two. They made a nice comeback, but they were unable to get a lot of shots on goal. I think they got a Seattle team that is hungry after a loss to Colorado. They had won their three games prior to that. And I like the Seattle team moving forward. I think they're a bet on team. We got Seattle as a slight plus 110 dog. That's where we're going in this game. And the last game is Dallas and Boston. And I got to look at Dallas here, guys. We played on Buffalo a couple of nights ago, and I said that. Uh, Buffalo was in a great spot. Dallas was in a bad spot. Well, I think Dallas is in a good spot now because I want to play them after they lose a game. On top of that, even though the Bruins have lost two in a row, I don't believe in this Boston Bruins teams, folk. I think this Boston Bruins team is going to struggle to make the playoffs. This is a 
regression year for this team, and I think they lack uh, quality defensemen. So I like Dallas here um, at minus 115. That's it for the penalty box segment for Thursday, October 24th. Thanks for watching, everyone. Lots of love, and we'll see you tomorrow.